Scriptable Macros A macro provides a quick and convenient way of automating tasks. With mEditor, you can write macros with script languages, define macros to record keystrokes and mouse operations, and assign macros to keyboard and toolbar buttons. mEditor macros are modules designed independently of mEditor executable and implemented as a dynamic link library file. The macro feature includes a drop-down menu where you can choose to start, stop, record, run current default macro, run with temporary options, save as, edit, select, select this, customize, reference, and find a keyword. It also includes all macros currently in your My Macros. The macro feature also includes macro toolbar buttons, such as record with mouse and keyboard, record all activities or record all except mouse keyboard activities, and run macro. You can customize the record button. If you choose to record all activities, you will need to click Continue on the User Account Control dialog box that will appear. This dialog box will not appear if you are recording a macro using the Record All Except Mouse Keyboard Activities option. All defined My Macros are displayed in a macro toolbar. By default, mEditor automatically adds a macro that has been recorded and saved to My Macros. To view and customize My Macros, select the Customize Macros command on the Macros drop-down menu. You can choose to create a new macro, delete a macro, change the order of My Macros, and edit a selected macro. You can also specify if particular macros run at events, as well as define those events and how long their delay times are. When you are selecting the events, you can click the Help button to go to the Select Events dialog box page of the mEditor Help. You can also click the Help button to go to the My Macros section of the mEditor Help. If you don't want your macros to be automatically added to My Macros, select the Customize Macros command from the Macros menu. In the Options tab of the Customize Macros dialog box, clear the Add to My Macros when new macro is saved or selected checkbox. On the Options tab, you can also customize the following options. Ask macro language when editing new recorded macro. Record mouse activities and keyboard input to other applications. Record all mouse movements. Idle time before inserting sleep method. And folder to store my macros. You can choose to reset all of these options. Once you have created a macro, you can save it. You can save multiple macro files. When you save a macro file, that macro becomes the default macro file and will be loaded the next time you select the Run Macro command. If you open the macro menu, the macro name will appear at the right side of the Run command. Also, if you move the mouse pointer over the Run Macro button, Run Macro plus the macro name will appear. In short, a macro file name that appears at the selection of the macro execution command is the default macro. mEditor saves the default macro until it records, selects, or saves another macro. When you exit mEditor and reopen it again, the default macro remains the same. 
You can assign shortcut keys to macros by selecting the keyboard tab from the Properties for Current Configuration command or the Properties for All Configurations command. In this tab, select Category Macros to assign keys to macro commands or Category My Macros to assign keys to macros stored in your My Macros. A note for macros. You cannot use the VB script message box function. However, you can use the alert method, confirm method, or pop-up method instead. For more information regarding this feature, please see the help, macro reference, and choose any subject on macros you would like to browse. Please also see the macros page under the library section of the mEditor website for a list of downloadable macros. You may also find the How to Create a Macro video in the Videos Tutorial section of the mEditor website helpful.